Hi, I'm Jean Miranda and I'm here to talk about a study uh, that we have performed uh, on the evolution of the web. The, the web is permanently changing with new technologies and publishing behaviors emerging uh, every day. It is important to track trends on the evolution of the web to develop efficient tools to process um, its data. For instance, web trends uh, influence the design of browsers, uh, search engines and crawlers. This study presents trends on the evolution of the web, derived from the analysis of three characterizations performed within an interval of five years. The web portion used as a case study was the Portuguese web. Uh, we all know that the web is a huge source of information. There is information that is published only on the web, but information disappears. Uh, a website that's, that is uh, published today and that is available today, tomorrow, uh, may not be uh, available. Uh, so, uh, web archives uh, appeared uh, in order to try to preserve the web and uh, to grant access, to enable access for future generations to this information that is published uh, nowadays on the web. Uh, they also enable uh, research on finding trends uh, because they add a temporal uh, dimension. This is an example of what you can find uh, in a web archive. This is Alta Vista uh, in 2009. Uh, and as we go back in time, we can see um, that there were changes uh, in the design and uh, on the layout, the layout of, of the, the site. This is Alta Vista in 2009, 2004, 2003, 2001, 99, 98. You can see the differences as you go back in time. This is 97, and this is Alta Vista back in 1996. How does a crawler work? Well, a crawler is a computer program that downloads contents from the web uh, and extracts links uh, to find new ones. It starts from an initial set of addresses and iteratively downloads contents uh, to find new contents. How have we done um, this study? Um, there were two previous works uh, in 2003 and 2005. Uh, one that was used to feed a search engine, so it used only textual media types. Uh, and another one that performed the characterization of the Portuguese web, uh, which used all media types. It was performed in 2005. Our work, um, the crawl that we used to, to perform this study was, was made in 2008 and it included all media types. When comparing to 2003, we used only the textual uh, subsets of this crawl, so only the textual media types, uh, PDF, uh, HTML, text files. Uh, why? is it important to track trends on the web. Um, it is important, uh, for instance, to enhance uh, browsers and crawlers uh, to improve the processment of the data, uh, of web, the, process, the processment of web data, uh, which browsers and crawlers and search engines uh, use. Uh, are sites larger uh, on the web today? Which media types are prevalent? Uh, which media types are more used uh, today? has the size uh, of contents grown or not. Now, why is it important to study the site size, the size of, of sites? It may be uh, important to uh, define crawling strategies. For instance, the distribution of contents per site may be important uh, to efficiently partition a large data set of URLs across several um, machines or several crawling processes. For instance, if we know that, if we find out that a, a site is too large, uh, we can set a crawling process uh, 
dedicated to that uh, site. What have we found? We have found that the average number of contents per site increased. Uh, that means that site size tends to increase. Uh, why is it important to study uh, the trends on media types? Well, for instance, mobile phone browsers um, have limited capacities in comparison to desktop computers, and they must include software to interpret the most commonly used media types. Um, what have we found? We have found that there is a decrease in text, uh, HTML, and uh, GIF images. But there is an increase in JPEG and PDF. However, um, media type prevalence is more spread. What about textual media types? Uh, we have found that uh, HTML lost presence to other formats, uh, but there is an increase um, in PDF and Flash. About content size, why, why is it important to study uh, trends on content size? Analyzing trends in content sizes is useful to estimate the storage resources required to create uh, web data repositories. Uh, what have we found? We have found that uh, content size grew for most media types, but for some media types it decreased. So contrary to common belief, uh, sizes do not grow for all media types. About dynamically generated contents. Analyzing the presence of dynamically generated contents is interesting to identify technological trends uh, in web publishing. However, distinguishing dynamically generated from static contents is not straightforward. A possible approach to identify the presence of dynamically generated contents is based on the existence of a question mark on the URL. However, this approach provides results on a minimal number of dynamic contents since there are pages that do not contain any question mark on their URL, but are dynamically generated. What have we found? We have found that the percentage of URLs containing uh, parameters increased uh, from 2003 to 2008, uh, which shows a clear trend towards the usage of dynamically generated contents uh, for web publishing. The widespread popularity of free open source content management systems uh, is a strong reason for this fact. About uh, URL length, why is it important to study um, the evolution on URL length? URL length um, is a feature um, that can influence interaction design. It may be useful to determine the adequate length uh, for input text boxes that receive URLs for instance, the Internet Archive Wayback Machine, or um, to determine how many characters should be presented in a search engine results page. What have we found? We have found that the average URL length increased in five years. Um, so the length of the URLs is growing. For some conclusions, after five years, uh, what changed from 2003 to 2008? Well, after five years, the URL length increased slightly, but the average content size increased significantly. The general trend is that uh, content size tends to increase. However, uh, the results show that content size does not grow for all media types. For some media types, it is decreasing which shows that contrary to common belief, sizes do not grow for all media types. The usage of dynamically generated contents uh, is widespread and uh, already represents more than half of the pages available online. The number of contents hosted per site increased, so sites are becoming uh, larger and are hosting mo more contents than before, and media type formats such as HTML, GIF or JPEG became standards uh, on the web. If you want to collaborate with us, 
uh, you can help us test our systems. We would like very much uh, your help. We, we, we would appreciate your help in testing our systems. You can help us on research and development uh, projects that we have available on our page. Uh, we also have the crawl logs available for research purposes. So if you would like to collaborate with us or have a word with us, uh, just go to archive.pt and give us uh, our, your feedback. Thank you very much.